Brian, at last check, the fire is between 10 and 15 acres, and it has been gradually blowing to the east. I want to sort of show you what the scene looks like right now. This is an area that is, you know, full of shrubs, full of brush. We're right along the American River, and what firefighters we've been seeing them doing is they've been sort of lighting these backfires and then, you know, monitoring where the fire is moving, using the hoses when needed. This road right here, you see this is a bike trail. This is right where they want to stop it. It's a natural break as there's pavement here. And the goal is to push or is to keep the fire from pushing over from one side to the other. We'd seen large plumes blowing up into the sky. Uh, however, for the most part, it looks like the fire has been avoiding these power lines, which are up, uh, up ahead me, but that's also made it difficult as there is some air support. A Metro Fire helicopter is unable to drop water because of those power lines. I want to bring in Chris Harvey, who's the public information officer for Sacramento Fire, who can talk about this a little better. What are we seeing firefighters doing behind us? What's the goal here? So you can see just in the time since we've been talking, here, Tom, that the wind has shifted again to the east. When they started this firing operation, the wind was blowing kind of the north, and we're hoping we can stop it along this little spur of the bike trail. But now that the wind is shifting into the east, they're going to have to be very vigilant. Some of these uh, fires that are, that are here can jump this line and continue the spread to the eastward. Does that all depend on just how, how hard the wind is blowing? Yeah, how hard the wind is blowing in the direction. When they first set these fires here, when you first started talking, you could see the smoke was drifting off almost to the west and to the north. And just in the time that we've been here, it's now drifting north and you can see somewhat east. And some of these embers that are right here in front of us, these can blow across and start new spot fires downwind. And now we've got to chase it and keep chasing it to the eastward here. All things considered, is this a, a, a pretty good spot for the fire to burn given that you have sort of these natural barriers, the road and then the river on the other side? All things considered, yes, except for one major factor, and that is the power lines above us. It does prevent the helicopter from dropping. On fires like this, we can really use that helicopter to limit the spread of the fire downwind because they can saturate this area downwind with water and keep those spot fires from happening, or at least keep, keep them smaller. But when these power lines are directly overhead, it really limits the, the helicopter's ability to do much more than just a spot for us and let us know where the fire is heading. And just how quickly is this moving um, and, and is there concern that it'll keep moving beyond here? Well, they've got a pretty good stop on it here again, but what we're using as a fire break is just the bike the bike trail, uh, which is, you know, eight eight feet or so of, of asphalt and then another couple of feet of, uh, of uh, sandy gravel. And uh, if the wind starts blowing across into these other tall fuels, uh, you know, it'll get over that fire break and keep going. So they've got three rigs well positioned right now. We do have another type one pumper here. That's got a thousand gallons of water. So they're standing by to fill these up as they need to. So we, we're hoping we can make a stop on it right here. All right, Chris Harvey, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. So just in the time that we've been here, as the fire has been burning for more than an hour now, you know, it's drifted down, um, you know, sort of acre after acre down here. And now, now there's this stop here. Just to give you some perspective, out in the distance, you can see this is where the American River is. So uh, the fire probably not, uh, well, obviously not going to burn beyond that. Um, but it could continue to go down this bike trail. That's what firefighters don't want to see happen. This area is now shut off to any uh, pedestrians. There's a lot of bicyclists, joggers, walkers who use this area for the time being. All of that is put on hold as Sacramento Fire, along with some help from some of their neighboring agencies, work to get this blaze under control. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.